Hi everyone, in this video I will share how to configure cross-domain tracking or sub-domain tracking using Google Tag Manager. So of course the first thing you need to have is the, your Google Tag Manager and the Google Analytics. Without further ado, let's get started now. First of all, imagine you already sell your Google Universal Analytics in your Google Tag Manager. So you already have your tracking ID. So if you know no idea how to do this, I have a video so you can click on here. I think this is the usual view. Then you have the only tracking ID, page view, just leave it at the default as a page view and triggering is all pages. So in order you want to set up for a subdomain or cross-domain setting configuration in Google Tag Manager, first thing you need to do is you click more setting here view to start click add view so first you type cookie domains value you set to auto for subdomain this is already sufficient just cookie domain set to auto and then save it that's it so if you want to set up for cross domain tracking this must have an additional step so it's actually is add view then you choose allow linker the value is true and then another thing is you can notice that cross domain tracking here click this okay this is very tricky so auto link domains definitely you need to type your original domain so which is my primary domain actually is multimarketing.ga comma and then add the cross domain you want to track both these two just leave it at default and then click save the difference is after you're setting this, your fields to set is you add the all cookie domain, the auto, allow linker to true, and then the cross domain tracking, you add uh, multimarketing.ga and romantang.com. Let's jump back to Google Analytics. So first thing is you click admin, go to property, tracking info, click this refer exclusions list. By default, this is the domain name, is your primary domain, it will automatically generate by Google Analytics. Click the add referral exclusion, type the cross domain you're gonna track, create. The final step is we need to check and verify the setting in Google Tag Manager or in Google Analytics is whether working or not. For information, is multimarketing.ga is my primary domain. So the cross domain is romantang.com, just to verify again. So when I use Google Tag Assistant, both are using the same Google Analytics. So this is the UA X654. Same with the Romantang, the cross domain. So both are using the same Google Analytics tracking ID. To test this cross domain tracking is working or not, so I use Google Tag Assistant. First thing is you click record and then refresh. So when you refresh, when it shows the green color, I'll usually wait for the green color, then we continue. So let's say I already create this link inside the post. I click to here. You notice something, right? So this is the actually is the client ID for your Google Analytics. So it will show to here. Let's say I want to back to my primary domain. So I already insert the primary domain in the URL link here. I click and I'm back to here. So the GA equal the this parameter is the actually the client ID to indicate to Google Analytics so everything is must, must be the same. Finally, stop recording and then click show full report. After that, click the Google Analytics report and then it will show this recording summary. To finalize everything is you look at the flow. Okay, the session start with this multi marketing and then I click the link link to this romantang.com. The link you can see here is very clear. So it's counted as one session only, which is we want. And then the final one, we link back to the martin.ga, which is everything is working now. So you can check with the source also. So it just showed the one is direct none because we type directly for it and it's not the referral. The reason don't have referral is because the analytic, we already include the romantang.com as a referral exclusion list. So when Google Analytics scan everything, when they collect data, it will consider everything as a one session. For subdomain, is keep in mind, you will don't have this GA client ID parameter. Let's say the subdomain is blog.martinmarketing.ga, it will just show everything is very clean and then as a session, is a one session you will don't have this GA. This GA parameter is only will appear if you use the cross-domain tracking. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Happy tracking!